Okie dokie. Well, hi everybody, and cast time once again. And let me uh, go ahead and intro the music real quick. Um, this is going to be the Surf Gnomes. Um, this wasn't my first choice. Um, I actually had another album in mind. I can't remember the name of it right off the top of my head. Something like John Cole, Rain Songs, or something like that. Like I said, I can't remember the exact name, but uh, I, um, <clears throat> at the very last minute, I checked out a, a channel I haven't heard from in a long time, the Comfy Synth Archives. They play, you know, they play Comfy Synth music. Um, it just it seems they've been a little remiss in, um, you know, adding their adding their latest albums to my uh, YouTube recommendations. So check them out. Um, they had a they had a album or two that came out a few days ago. Why I didn't get them, I don't know. But um, but yeah. So I figured, you know, since I haven't heard I haven't heard that kind of this kind of music in a long time. Um, I kind of called an audible and decided to go ahead and play these guys instead. Now, um, I, once again, like I've been doing recently, not to be a jerk or anything, but um, it's probably going to happen. I'll have my headphones on as long as I can, but it went, um, I've got a major headphone wire issue. Like, if it's not in, the ex in exactly just the right spot, I'll only get music in one of my ears and not both. Um, when it starts doing that, then I'm going to have to yank my headphones off because i got to be able to concentrate on talking. So, Yep, did it. Volume got jacked up to 100, so let me turn it down a little bit from my end. Oh, and um, it's, it's basically surf music, uh, modern-day surf music. So let me go ahead and get that going. Okay, so far. Oh, and uh, I made a few last-minute adjustments to this cast video, so that's not good. Okay, I pardon the interruption. I gotta do something real quick. Something went wrong with my external speaker. I'll just go ahead and plug it in. Let me do a quickie check here. That that was my uh, external speaker whenever you turn it on. Which I didn't recall me turning it off. So... Go. Oh, and uh, the music, despite it only lasting about 15-20 minutes, is going to be um, a bit repetitious. And also that too. Um... It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be pretty flickery throughout this whole cast, cause the whole time, um, ever since I've been streaming, all the way up until you know putting this cast together, it's um, it's been flickering on and off. So, and probably more on that later. Flicker. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get her started. Um, but yeah, um, got some good sleep this morning. Um, because of that, I. My stream went on almost four hours, so yeah, that's what uh, sleeping well gets you. Lay down at uh, I actually laid down earlier than normal. Lay down around 3:30 a.m. Um, a few minutes later, uh, the sun was shining and looked at my clock. It was like 10 a.m., so got about six and a half hours. Yay me! Um, tried laying back down, tossed and turned for about an hour, and then um, then managed to. Managed to rack out for a couple more hours. Alarm went off. So, just got my cat, just got my stream up and running and all that. And like yesterday, it was just, uh, it was an idle game medley. I started with Island to Rule the Gods, played it for about an hour. Um, switched on over to Idle Research, uh, played it for about an hour. And then um, I think I spent the next, probably the next two hours or so, uh, playing uh, Farmer Against Potatoes Idol. It, it seems to be the one that I'm most into right now. Uh, despite that, like I said yesterday, it does crash. It was up. Uh... Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. So, headphones are coming off. So, the it was already cutting in and out. So, but anyway. um, yeah, but yeah um, Two hours in Farmer, Farmer Against Potatoes. So, I must be liking that game or something, because I think part of that, 
part of it too is uh, I think the way I lean to roll the gods and um, idle research goes, and I've had other idle games that are like this, the, the offline calculations are so good that I don't actually need to babysit them for that long. Just, just long enough to where, you know, do all the upgrades I need, do all the setting up I need to do, etc. When all that's taken care of, then I could just go ahead and close out the game. Because, like I said, the uh, the offline of those, the offline mode of those is so good that it, it's really it's really accurate and like tracking your progress and stuff like that. So those are basically fire and forget games. Um, Farmer against potatoes. Uh, from what I'm seeing of it. Actually, uh, being in the game is um, is more effective. You um, you get upgrades quicker, and that that's some that's something else too. That's that's what I was trying to say. Um, um, I believe the rule of the gods and idle research. It's not as it's not as bad as a game like Cookie Clicker or uh, Adventure Capitalist, where you where uh. If you're actually playing that game, you can't do shit. Like, the progress is so damn slow that all, even, or I should say, even the, uh, the offline mode, it might be a uh, good and accurate, but on the downside, the online mode kind of sucks. You can't hardly do anything. It's just, you check back in about a week, and you hardly progressed. Um, but, again, I learned the rule of gods in idle research. They kind of lean in that direction, although not as bad. Whereas again, farmer gets potatoes. Um, you you'll actually develop quicker online, uh, faster than you do offline. But uh, I've I think I played a I played a few idle games over the years where it was like that. Like it's more it's more effective if you actually play the game. And plus, uh, I think probably because the anima the animations are cooler to look at, too. It's it, I just thought of this, too. It might also be one of the reasons why I was having game crashes with it yesterday. Because there's a fair amount of animation going on. Um, the graphics are better. Um, it's it's almost like looking at a it's almost like looking at a lava lamp. In fact, yeah, I'll, I'll just leave it the way it is. Um, I was I was gonna I was go ahead I was gonna go ahead and do what I did in my one of my er, um, cast videos that I did a few days ago. I actually had the game up and running while making it, but like I said, I don't wanna I don't wanna overhaul my page. You know, moving all my visuals and flashcards and whatnot. So yeah, um, so yeah, it's almost like looking at a lava lamp. Whereas, whereas the, the research and the the. Island to roll the gods. Not a whole lot to look at. Just you're basically just watching nothing more than numbers going up. At least the uh, farmer idol, you have more. You know, there's more to watch. And then um, during the during the uh, during the stream today too, just been um, uh, I've also been watching podcasts. Um, one that I've really been into lately. Uh, it's one. It's done by a uh, Henry Rollins. He's um. Uh, legendary musician he was in uh he was in black flag one of the most popular uh, uh punk bands in the 80s uh he, for a while he had his own band uh then he broke off of that and throughout this entire time he was also a writer um he wrote he wrote journals uh he wrote he wrote poetry he, he he's a sort of kind of poet uh he's also a sort of kind of stand-up comedian as well and he's again he's been at he's i think he's still active to this day been around since the 80s but anyway um apparently in the mid to late 2010s um i think it's his secretary he hired her like probably back in the summer in the 80s and she's been working for him ever since well she decided you know henry we should get a podcast going oh, okay sure no problem you know it was probably his reaction so yeah i i never knew they had one so but in all the books that I've read of his over the years, he's he's always talking about her. So I got a feeling that if he was to ever settle down and get married, Heidi's probably gonna be the person that he's gonna marry. So, but yeah, just been um, 
oh yeah, they have a bunch of podcasts that they've done too. So, um, I've just been systematically watching him, or been systematically checking his casts out. So we're just starting from the very first one all the way up to the most recent. And then, um, and then Triple KO, um, that's a fighting game podcast. Watch some of it. Watch some of it. I think I watched it from beginning to end. Uh, they're talking about fighting game music in that one, so. Had a fair, had a fair amount to say on that since I'm, I basically grew up with music. So. Which, I guess my, uh, my short take on that, uh, 90% of fighting game music I don't care for. Or, at best, it, it all goes in one ear and out the other. Um, Skullgirls being my, uh, my overall favorite uh, fighting game soundtrack. But yeah, like I said, overall, uh, good stream today. Uh, just, I was on for, I was on for about four hours, and I was pretty much wide and awake and fully attentive the entire time, too. It wasn't like, I think it was yesterday, I was on about three hours, but the whole three hours, I was just, you know, in various states of awareness. But otherwise, that's that on that. Um, and then later on, later on in the evening, I actually managed to get a. Play some uh, Pinball FX3. Uh, it's a new matchup week. So, uh, and then I think of surprisingly, um, all four of the tables, they're. Okay, I had to look at something real quick. Anyway, uh, but yeah, the all four of the tables, not really conducive for a matchup week, but amazingly, um, I think it was the Captain America table, and, uh, I'm trying to think, Funhouse, I think, yeah, um, two tables that aren't, that really aren't very, uh, aren't very matchup friendly, uh, combos are out of the question on them, so you have to start a mode, and you, basically, you have to complete them in order, in order, in order to stand a chance on them. Alien Isolation, same thing. And um, it's even worse on Alien Isolation because in order to start a mode, there's like this, there's this hole at the way extreme left side of the table. Very difficult shot to hit. But that, but uh, but yeah, just like the other tables, um, you got to start a mode and you got to start a mode in Alien Isolation, then you have to actually complete it in order to get a decent score. Um, Wolverine. Um, you, you kind of, you, ideally you want to start and complete a mode, but, um, you can, if you do, if you basically, if you make most of your shots on there, especially the ones that are flashing, you'll, you'll, you'll get a decent score in Wolverine, so, but yeah, once again, um, surprisingly, I beat the beat the high score on Captain America and Funhouse, so, so yeah, actually did pretty good this time around, but we still got about, I still got the rest of the week, though, um, still got six days, so I gotta, I'm probably gonna have to check back every so often, to, uh, to you know, do some maintenance, and, you know, try to keep my, uh, try to stay up in the rankings, and then, um, I also, I also managed to do a pinball arcade session, too. So it didn't it didn't crash today, but like I've been saying ever since, basically ever since I first uh, turned my computer on when I woke up, it's been flickering. So yeah, FX3 has been flickering like flickering like crazy. Um, pinball arcade, same thing, flicker, flicker, flicker. So it didn't. So yeah, they didn't crash, but they came pretty close. And then, um, and then one other thing, um, after being absent for about, about two or three years, 
one of my all-time favorite uh, YouTube channels, Salmonella Academy. Or I just I just call him Salmonella. But yeah, he's he put he put out a video yesterday. Like I said, after being absent for about three or four years. Yeah, he, he put a new one out. But uh I watched it. Uh towards the end of it though, he said, see you in 2025. So I got a feeling he's gonna be going absent again. Which kind of sucks, because like I said, he's one of my, he's, I'd probably say he's one of my favorite personalities. He's, I, he, artistically, he's kind of a, he kind of strikes me as a Charles Schultz kind of artist. You know, the creator of Peanuts, kind of, um, and kind of along the lines of uh, Bob Ross as well. It, the, the stuff he draws, it looks real easy to do, but good luck trying to copy it. I think, um, but yeah, Bob Ross and Charles Schultz are pretty much the same way, too. I mean, their art looks really simplistic, but, you know, good, good luck trying to copy it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink of some water real quick. Um, uh, but, uh, another thing I like the bottom, too, is, uh, Unlike the vast majority of content creators out there, um, he's, he's, uh, it, it's actually in the, in the end of all of his videos, you know, like and subscribe, but if you did it, that's cool too. I wish more content creators would do that. The only other one that I can think of that doesn't is, um, Soft White Underbelly. I don't, I think, um, one of his, um, one of his introductory videos, or I, I kind of, I probably should talk more about him, but uh, he's kind of going off the rails here for a moment. But yeah, um, I think his uh, soft white and underbelly, another one of my favorite channels. Even though I have yet to sit down and watch a single video from beginning to end. But anyway, I think um, he posted up a video recently too about uh, I think there's a chance that either a his channel is going to get taken down or B, he he basically has to start putting out more family friendly for lack of a better word content because apparently uh, YouTube is uh, they're uh, tightening their restrictions on sexual content like uh, the the stuff that he puts out like he'll sometimes he'll enter pro he'll interview prostitutes He'll interview sugar babies. He'll, you know, he'll, oh, what was it? he'll interview crack addicts, drug addicts, and, you know, and some of them are wearing, like, nothing more than bikinis and stuff like that. I mean, they, they, live, they live out in the streets, so, but, you know, but it, anyway, anyway, he has to, but yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna demonetize his channel, so, but, sorry. Sorry for the interruption, but like I said, I it, it just now occurred to me maybe I should have uh, I should have uh, should have talked more about them too. But oh well, I'll probably uh, I'll probably put a warning up in the uh, in the description. But anyway, um, getting back on subject, uh, one of my um, well, he's like one of the few content creators that I can think of where he doesn't, you know, he doesn't. What you doing, man? Hey, get your ass down there and smash that like and subscribe button. Yeah, come on, man. Hit that notification bell so when I post a video up, you'll be the person to know. Get out there now, damn it. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't, you know, he's one of the few content creators that doesn't try to shove the like and subscribe in your face. So that, so that was probably one of the biggest, one of the biggest tipping points into, into, into actually me subscribing to his channel. I mean, that's much more likely to happen. When you're not demanding that I do so. So. So, yeah. Um, but, um, I guess kind of a quickie dicky recap. Um, but yeah, he put out a video after, after not put one on out, putting one out here in about three or, like three or so years. So, but, I think he's, he's, he's a rare one. He's one of a kind. I think, uh, still one of my, uh, Probably my favorite video of his though has got to be Journey of a Beef Cow. I mean, I'm not a, 
I'm not a vegetarian or anything, but I try. I do try to shy away from beef products, especially red meat, like T-bone steaks and stuff like that. Like, I still love me a burger once in a while, but that's about as far as my uh, interest in uh, beef goes. Otherwise, uh, otherwise chicken. I eat those. I eat that every day when streaming. Um, chicken, tuna, salmon, uh, turkey, turkey when I can actually get it. So I'm. I'm poultry and seafood. Um, and then, if I, had to, if I had to choose between the two, seafood, like, I love me some salmon. Too bad it's expensive as hell. So, but, yeah, but anyway, um, but, yeah, my favorite video's gotta be a journey of a beef cow. Um, it's, um, it's, it's basically an environmental, it's an environmentalistic, uh, video. But at the same time, they're... How do I put this? It's a lot more... It's a lot more enjoyable to watch than, say... Like what you'd see in, uh... In, in, the, in the movie Food, Inc. Or... Even, uh, even Super Size Me. Um, what else? Um, the channel's called It's Okay to Be Smart. They talk about climate change a lot in there. Um... Oh, God, I wish you knew the name of it. Something like Climate Fiasco or something like that, but it's an, I think it's an offshoot of It's Okay to Be Smart. Like, Climate Clusterfuck. I, I, I can't remember. I can't remember the name of it, but yeah, it, but anyway, those are, those tend to be pretty, uh, pretty serious-minded, which, I mean, they're, they're totally legit. They're totally great to watch, but... If I had to make a choice between Salmonella, or the way uh, Salmonella does environmentalism, and the way, the way um, the way most other environmentally uh, environmentally environmentally themed uh, videos go, I gotta go with Salmonella. He's way better at it than most others. But otherwise, um, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and call it good here. I believe I said all the things I wanted to. Um, and got a little excessive at one point. But, but yeah, anyway. Um, but this this cast here is going to be my last one for the week. So uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, that's my work week. So you won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. So, and I'll... I'll probably talk about this. I'll probably I'll probably say this uh, on my streams too, but uh, that means Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I'm usually pretty well beat up and tore up from the work from a work night, so I'm not always gonna be up for streaming. So don't be surprised if uh, I'm not streaming on those days. So, but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. Always do. And then once again, um, I'll see you guys on Sunday morning. So, until then, bye now.